What's up, YouTube? Kyra from Gosh Introductions back up in here with another video. And today I have something that has been asked forever, forever, ever, ever on the channel. But before I get into that, uh, I just want to dive into something real quick I'm really proud on. Uh, as you guys saw, the last video that I dropped was a lookbook for my most recent uh, collaborative collection with Ori NYC. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm really happy on the feedback that I got on that video. I don't really want to do an explanation on like what the whole lookbook is about because that's not what this video is about. But what I'm just letting you guys know is that it's out now. It's like it's actually out for release like before when I dropped the video like it was like a couple days before the release but right now I'm just letting you guys know that it's out and it's uh, available for everyone to go and pick up. I have the hoodie, I have the hoodie right here. I have the corduroy and the hoodie both available on the site 80 and 100. I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know that it is available now. And I have the link in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, it really means a lot and only because of you guys that I'm able to keep on making new stuff like this with uh, Ore. And um, I just really thank you guys because I'm trying to do more stuff in the summer, definitely. So just stay tuned for that. And um, let me get, let me know how you guys enjoy these clothes. Like, just Snapchat me, send me anything. that Like, if you guys pick up the gear, just make sure to, like, stay in contact with me and tell me, guys, tell me how you guys like it. Um, aside from that, though, what this video is about is a question that I get almost asked, like, every single video, um, what this chain is. Um, so basically what this chain is and basically what I want to touch on this whole um, video about is jewelry um, and to help me with that I have a segment from Avery talking about grills near the end of this video so make sure to stay tuned for that but um, what I want to touch on is basically everyone asked me about this necklace that I have around my neck um, basically I got it from my father my father is originally from Trinidad and he gifted me this necklace when I was like three years old. And the reason why in past videos I never really had it until like last summer is because um, it was like always irritating me when I was like three years old. So he ended up taking it back and like putting it in a safety deposit box. And then I think a couple of years, at, like when I was like younger, I was like 15. Um, I think my mom brought it up that like I had a necklace and then just never had it. And she said to ask, for me to ask for it back, I asked for it back and then he said he couldn't find it in the safety deposit box. So then I was like, okay, whatever, I just don't have a necklace, it's cool. Like, it was just a gift regardless, so like, I'm not gonna complain. And then I think it was last year, um, around like springtime last year, so around this time maybe, um, my dad was like, yo, I found a necklace. And I was like, how'd you even find it if it wasn't in the safety deposit box? He put it in his dad's safety deposit box. So long story short, I have a necklace now. It was like when I went to Jamaica, like last year, when I, uh, I did the like what's in my luggage video. But anyway, I got this back in my possession from like three all the way till now. Like I, I still have the same chain, just like it's back in my possession now. And you guys might notice that it doesn't have the little pendant on it, which is something I want to touch on to this video uh, and why everyone's like asking me like where you can buy this video, but like, I mean, buy this chain. Uh, you can't really buy this specific chain, but you could get something similar. And I'm just going to touch on multiple things of, involved with jewelry in this video. So um, basically what happened with the pendant is something that happened recently. Um, I was at a party. Actually, I was at a party. I was at a... Yeah, we just went out. It was after the day I filmed the lookbook and we went downtown or whatever. And I woke up in the morning and I didn't have my pennant. I guess I just didn't notice it wasn't on me like when I went home. When I woke up in the morning, I didn't have the pennant on me. So what I feel what happened is that you guys can learn from my mistakes is that because of how soft the metal is, all, ch all like gold from the islands is like really high percentage. So most of it is like 18 karat and above. So like from 18 to 24K is like the percentage of gold that's like really, really shiny. Um, most people in the range that I know of like people that get jewelry that I know is between 10 and like 18 of like the people that I know that actually have jewelry. But like all my family from the islands, they get like jewelry from like 18K and above. So all of it's really soft and really shiny. So what I didn't know is that I've been wearing this chain like on a consistent basis every day. Like I never take it off. At, at the beginning, I used to take it off because I thought it was like really like special, which it is. But I just didn't really want to like 
take it on and off. Plus, I started growing my hair out, um, which probably is going to be all over in the comments again because I have it in a different style, but whatever. <laughs> um, I didn't want to take it on and off anymore, so I just kept it on. I always wore it. It was gold, so nothing, nothing's going to tarnish. It's solid gold. So um, the fact alone is that I just wore it every day. But this being 20K gold, it's soft. So what I didn't know is that it was it was bound to like like be malleable and like you could like shift it basically and my pennant I'll, sh I'll flash a picture right here or whatever over the whole screen there was this tiny 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 little hole and that was the only thing holding the pennant like it was like a little bar with a ho like a horse engraved on it and then there was this little tiny hole and then that was connected to a ring that was attached to the chain but that little tiny hole was so small that i feel that's what was bri that broke off so what i want to tell you guys when you're buying jewelry make sure that it's just like as stable as possible um so that it doesn't fall off or break or anything like that because i know like people have been buying the supreme chains and stuff like that those are super thin so you have to be really careful with your jewelry um take it on and off if you want but if you want like an everyday piece i would go into the the ranges of like 10 carat 14 carat so that it's not gonna bend and like be as um like uh prone to breaking as possible um for example like i'll, I'll dive into the little details um I'll go on to my ring now. Basically, my ring, I'll, I'll do detail shots after, but my ring is 10 karat and it has diamonds. So the difference between my ring and my chain is a whole 10 karat in difference. So you could see it in the color differentiation. I'll show you in the details. also but it's like completely different in color and luster it's like the chain is like a yellow gold and then my ring is more of like a muted gold like you, you you'll see it more in the light if anything but as far as like luster goes like that's where you see the the differentiation in color and also in qual in um, quality and hardness because my ring is super hard like I'll wear this anywhere it's fine it's super super hard like yeah it'll get scratches whatever but like this compared to like my chain how I feel how soft it is and how soft the bar was when I had it it's like night and day it's like completely different so what I want to tell you guys is that when it comes to like rings or anything that you're going to wear any day, you want to go for like 10 karat, 14 K. But if it's like something special, you want to have like really like your diamonds dancing, <laughs> like your, your chain on some next level shit. Um, you're going to want to go with like an 18 K, 20 K or even 24 if you want, but like that's some next level shit. Um, that's why most people get like 24 K, but like plated cause that's different. And that's another thing too, like people want to ask like price wise, how much chains go for and stuff like that. Like this is like, it's pretty pricey. Like it could like, this could get up into the thousands. I know like rings, some of them are like 300, 500. It all depends on like what you really want to go for. That's why I recommend going to a jeweler specifically or like everyone when they were asking me like what, uh, where to go, I just say go to a jeweler and they're going to help you out the best way possible. And that's just like my honest bet as to what to do. As far as places to go to get your jewelry, um, I know a lot of people are going to want to look online and stuff for like just different places to look for when you're getting jewelry. Uh, one place that like more commonly known in the fashion realm, I guess you could say, could be Supreme because they do drop a, a chain or so every season for when I do know. And then uh, apart from that, 
when you want to get into like custom jewelry and stuff like that i know there's like places in la called if and co that's like really popular like ben baller that whole series like on youtube he had like doing custom jewelry you could do that too he has like email inquiries i'll probably leave that in the description too but that's like also next level like diamond grills if you guys want to ball out definitely go out towards him um, but more on like uh, in between, in between like Supreme and like I guess Ben Barra level would be Popular Jewelry Co, um, which would be Corporation. Um, and they're in New York and they actually have an online store, which I didn't know, which is really good. So you guys could check that out because it's online, you can order it to your crib. But I just want to like, it's probably going to be a little sketch ordering to your house. So like me, I always go into New York. I've, I've seen them about twice and like next time I go, Hopefully if I have my money situation right, I wanna get like the custom ring idea I had or replace my pennant, either or. But um, definitely go check them out. They're like some of the smartest, um, no like uh, knowledge worthy jewelers that I know. And like I trust them because a lot of people in my circle have been around them and they make good work. Like they do pieces for Waz. They've done people that are famous and stuff like that. It doesn't matter that they're famous, but I'm just saying like they're trustworthy and I know that they do quality work, so definitely go check them out if you guys are ever in New York or if you wanna order online, that's definitely an option that you guys can go towards. And yeah, aside from that, basically I just wanna say that like, um, I love jewelry and I really wanna get more. The only thing is, is that it's like really, really expensive. So like definitely I wanna dive into the realms of like, getting more pieces stuff like that more rings i want i have this custom ring idea that i want to do i just have to get the bread up for it and also now i have to replace a pendant because i lost the other one and i'm really sad but it's like you just gotta like chuck up the loss sometimes like sometimes you just really can't deal with that so it's like whatever uh, i'm just gonna chuck up the loss it's okay but aside from that thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to watch every segment right now i'm just gonna transition to it but basically what i'm gonna say is thank you guys for watching make sure to check out the, the link in the description with my new collection and also all my social medias are in the description below thank you avery for being featured on the channel let's dive into this section right now peace Woo. okay what's going on you guys kyron has me out here today to talk to you all about gold teeth grills give you guys an idea on what you should look for, what you wanna go with, so you don't make the same mistakes I did when you're buying yours. So when it comes to gold teeth, there's three main things you really have to worry about, and that's carrot, color, and the teeth you wanna go with. By far, the most important is carrot, and that's the percentage of gold that actually makes up your gold teeth. Just to narrow it down completely, my sweet spot for carrot is 14, 18, or 20. So in the 14 to 20 range. And this really depends on the color that you want and then the quality slash hardness. As far as color goes, white gold versus rose and yellow gold really differs because yellow and rose gold are going to show much more of a change in luster, a change in shine, that golden look to it. The higher carrots, the higher percentage of gold, they're gonna look a lot better. Whereas white gold, just like these, is more of a silver look to it so you're not going to see that much different in the sheen when you're differing between 14 18 and 20 carats so that's much more important when you're going for yellow or rose gold the other thing to think about is when you go up a higher carat there's a higher percentage of gold which means it's softer because gold is a really soft metal if you do go too high with that then it can be too soft when you bite down it can dent it can also bend if it's in your pocket or something stupid like that. Whereas if you go too low in the carrot, so 10, 12, when I was in the store, I saw multiple people getting two carrot grills. That's like taking some teeth and bending them and putting them around your teeth. Like why even bother? But anyway, when you do go down that low to the two carrot range, crazy. Then you have really hard metal on your teeth. I've heard that it's more damaging just because the metal's harsher. I don't know too much about that, but that's just what I've heard. So with the color and the hardness slash quality in mind, my idea is that for 14 karat, if you're going white gold and you want something that you're going to wear occasionally once every few moons, then 14 karat is for you. Just something for fun that you won't wear all the time. If it's white gold, everyday piece or yellow or rose gold and not an everyday piece, I'd go 18 karat. Personally, if you really don't know and you're throwing it up in the air, just go 18 karat. I think that's the sweet spot. 
It'll definitely be enough gold on there to be shiny. It'll be soft enough, it'll be hard enough. Uh, all around, it'll be okay at 18 karat. And then 20 karat is definitely the nicest. If you're going to wear it all the time, you don't plan on really eating with it in, and you're gonna be careful with it, especially for yellow and rose gold, it's gonna look the absolute best. So go with 20 karat if that's the boat that you're in. Another mistake that I made, besides not completely understanding all that stuff I mentioned before, is that when I got my bottom teeth done, I only got six teeth across, which I think is really shallow in width, because when you smile, when you talk, it, the exposed portion of your teeth goes past your fangs, which I didn't realize. So this isn't as wide as I would have expected. If you want to cover up your teeth, go eight, especially if you're just getting one side, like for example, only your top or only your bottom. Other than that, I'm really happy with the white gold because I think it's the most versatile, the most, the least situational. So you can wear it in a lot of different scenarios. Definitely can dress it up the most and wear it with the nicest looks as well as a more grungy like whatever look for example when you think of rocky on the red carpet he's always wearing all of his white gold and stuff like that whereas yellow gold definitely gives you a tougher look and honestly rose gold either for all you girls out there or for guys who want a look that no one else has really hit yet that might might be a nice edgier option for you if you want to go with that as far as shapes go my preference is just solid but it's really up to you usually when you get all the carvings and stuff like that you're pretty much just getting less gold for your money but i will say open faces look pretty good if you're a goal if you're a girl the bar style looks pretty good there's a lot of options out there it's all personal preference so go check it out personally mine are from stl grills which is a little shop out in the del mar loop in st louis i wouldn't really recommend them unless you are from the st louis area because their work is pretty overpriced for the quality and with that it's only worth to go there if you're getting the luxury of going in store getting them fast and having the in-hand experience before you purchase them otherwise i know toronto grills is an amazing online store shout out kyron all you guys up in canada but I'm pretty sure he has a huge rate waiting list. His price is probably going up. I don't know. I just Google it and read some reviews online. That's what I did. And there were a lot of good options online. I just ended up going in store because it was a lot easier for me in St. Louis. So maybe try and find one in your city so you can see the grills before you actually hand them over your dough. And that is going to do it for me. Kyron, thanks for having me on the channel. Hopefully I could help you guys out if you're interested in getting some gold teeth and help you not make the dumb consumer decisions I made. Peace out, guys.